20 past nine this week. A major change was announced to the way rape cases will be investigated. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Alison Saunders, says rape suspects will have to convince police and prosecutors that a woman consented to sex. Consent is actually quite complex um, and it's about making sure that we investigate first of all by asking the right questions, looking at the context and then we have that to put before the court and before juries. And these cases are often very difficult for juries to decide on so it's making sure that we put the strongest possible evidence there so they understand the issues around consent as well as us. So Ms Saunders says that for too long society has blamed rape victims for confusing the issue of consent, in some cases by criticising them for drinking, for example. Now, writing in the Daily Mail, the journalist Sarah Vine has described the new guidance as laughably absurd. She says that nowadays too many women cry rape after making a drunken mistake by having, as she puts it, non-violent sexual encounters in dodgy circumstances. She claims this move is driven by a politically correct agenda to appease hardline feminists. Let's speak to Holly Combe, writes for the online feminist magazine, The F Word. Hello, Holly. Hi, Stephen. Good evening. And Mike Buchanan, leader of the political party Justice for Men and Boys. Hello, Mike. Yes, hello, Stephen. Hello there. Um, Mike, you agree with Sarah Vine, do you? I do. I thought it was an outstanding piece. Um, Tell me why. Also, um, well, because she, she, she's pointing out that... Um, that, that uh, I mean, this is all about uh, giving giving women uh, ever more power over men. Now, to radical feminists such as Alison Saunders, the director of public prosecutions, uh, all sexual intercourse is rape. So we must expect that when she's appointed to a position like that, she'll do what she can to criminalise heterosexual. Well, she's sex. not saying all sexual sexual intercourse is rape. It's non-consensual well, well, that, that, sexual that, that, intercourse. That, uh, that is the direction of travel, and uh, well, that's uh, absurd. Frankly, un- I'm sorry. That's absurd. It's not, it's not, because at the end of the day, as Sarah Vine pointed out, how on earth do you prove uh, consent uh, after, after the event? I mean, do you, do you, have, a, do you have, a, have to have a signed contract? Do you have a video um, where, where, where a woman turns to the camera every, every minute and says, you know, I'm still consenting, guys? It's, it's, it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Holly? Um, I, yeah, I don't think that anyone's suggesting that there should be written contracts or anything ridiculous like that. I mean, the, the law actually says that consent is, is somebody having the full capacity and freedom to be able to consent, and there'll simply be a greater onus of responsibility for you know, prosecutors and the police to, to question rape suspects, to, to demonstrate that the complainant had, con, you know, had consented. But, but at the end of the day, I mean, how are men to, to, how are men to prove that, Holly? You know, it is it is it is just it is perverse. This is all about driving up the proportion of the, you know the number of successful rape cases. It, it, this has got nothing to do with justice. But there's a very low there's a very low prosecution rate uh, rate for rape. Um, and I mean, as it is, women don't have much of an incentive to come forward. I mean, I know a lot of people who women who say that if they were raped, that they wouldn't actually report because they they know that they would be cast as liars. And I think well, well, that's no, a major so, problem sorry. that we have I'm at the moment. S- I'm sorry, the, the, the criminal justice system does not work like that. W- women who go to the police claiming they've been raped will be taken extremely seriously. And, and the, 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 the reason that, that, that um, a small proportion of, of, of claims um, end in a conviction is that most of these cases are, are, a man's, are a woman's word against a man's. And unless you want to, want to move to the position that a woman is automatically um, de- de- deemed never to lie in such cases, which is, which we, is you know, pretty we well the direction... Think- we don't seem to treat other crimes in the same way. Um, I mean, when, when you say about, oh, it's, it's her word against his, I mean, there's a lot of other crimes where that will be the case. And people don't, you know, there, there isn't the same level of sort of outcry and fear that, that the, the complainant's lying. And let's not forget, it's, it's not just women who are raped. Men can be raped as well. And the idea is that we all have the right to bodily autonomy. We all have the right to be able to consent to have, and to have that respected. How do you prove consent, Holly? I think that I think this will go some way towards being able to prove consent. How do you and I prove think consent, by asking then? the right by asking the right questions, you know, in the police station, by not, you know, by not immediate, because it, it does seem to sway in the direction of assuming. No, what that, I mean is, how does how does the, the the person who believes they had consent and they partook in consensual sex, how do they prove it? What what should they I have think, done before sex? I don't think it. I don't think that it's difficult in the situation. I mean, if you're not sure whether you have somebody's consent during sex, then you don't do it. I mean, if somebody is really drunk, if they're, they're lying, they're half unconscious, I mean, surely most people, and I think most men actually, you know, w- wouldn't do anything. I, I find it 
very, very strange that there is this sort of notion that, I don't know, I mean, people are so saying well, all sexual intercourse is rape. I mean, I think a lot of the people who, where there is an outcry against this, they, 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 they seem to be the ones that believe all men are rapists and can't actually tell when they've obtained consent. I mean, I, it's, it's not difficult. I mean, I think most men have nothing to fear about this whatsoever. Let me know what you think at home. 0500 909 uh, 693. Uh, Sarah Vine, in her article, Mike, says the following. Yeah. You can blame someone else. You can make excuses. You can attempt to alleviate your own feelings of guilt and self-loathing by pinning responsibility on another. And in this day and age, that means crying rape. Is that not incredibly offensive to victims of rape? No, no. Well, at the end of the day, I, I, I think that's true. I think uh, uh, women have been taught that uh, they have no moral no moral agency they have no responsibility so so you know when, when, when you know, we 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 call it the the chardonnay goggles as opposed to beer goggles so so when, you know when a woman when a woman goes goes you know has sex with Brad Pitt and, and wakes up find, finding out she's had sex with John Prescott you know it's uh, of course you know the, the, these women are angry um and, you know the, the, and and so so they are taught that that was rape I mean, I mean, how many of the, I mean, how many of the men who, who tonight have sex with their wives or partners will be able to prove tomorrow that they had, um, you know, full enthusiastic consent? I mean, how, how do it goes back to a practical issue? How on earth, you know, you know, the, the, the state has no business in the bedroom, quite frankly, it just doesn't. So basically, it do, it doesn't really make it. It, 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 it. We just say, oh well, if he didn't have consent, we can't prove that he didn't have consent. So it doesn't really matter, like it, the fact that they're married or the fact that it's behind closed doors. No, I, I'm just saying, uh, saying the, the 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 bar is being set so high that that, that to all intents and purposes, heterosexual sex is 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 being made illegal. You know, it, it is just so <laughs> risky. It's, it's made so risky Holly, for men. Holly, Holly is lying in bed with someone naked. Is that any indication of consent? Well, it's not an indication. It's an ind you, 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 each sex act is, you know, it exists in and of itself. So, I mean, lying there naked with somebody doesn't mean that you consent to having one sex act. You, you know, it's it's what you say that you're going to do. It's what you say that you can do. It's what you say you want to do. And there's do. two people. And I think there's two people in one room, and and yeah. and, and obviously, Holly, obviously, yeah. not not everyone makes a speech before they have sex, and not everyone asks. There, there is a, there is presumed consent sometimes, isn't there? Well, I think sometimes there is, but I find it it, it does bother me a bit. This this idea is sort of that it's heterosexual sex will be sort of it, this is putting it at risk, or that the the people won't be able to have it. I mean, it's like is heterosexual sex so reliant? on, I don't know, kind of the unspoken or that things just happen or that it's, you know, I mean, it, pe people can agree to the boundaries beforehand and obviously once people have got to know each other or if they're in it, you know, I, everybody is different and I think that the point is that you do have to seek consent, you do have to ask and you don't have to have a big speech but you can see from the way that the person's behaving... You have to ask every time, do you? Well, I think, I think, if, I, I think it, it is a good idea to say, would you like me to do this? Like, all parties, I mean, not just men, women as well. Is, to that, say, is, that, is that how like, it works? Honestly? <laughs> I think, I, yeah, no, I think often it can work like that. And I think that he... he but don't you, don't you think, case, on, don't you think Holly, don't you think, Holly, not, on hmm. very, very many occasions, there's no discussion? Well, I think I think that if somebody is just lying there and is unable to say anything, then I think they're not giving consent. Whether that's because they've frozen or whether that's because they're so drunk, I don't think it's unreasonable. Well, let's, let's, to say let's, that so you, let's just you go should, through. You and, shouldn't then have sex. So let's Holly go through an, an obvious hypothetical situation. Okay, hmm. someone uh, comes back to a man's house. Hmm. They go into the bedroom. They take all their clothes off. They get into bed. They get into bed. They start kissing that man. They they, they they start rubbing up against that man. Is it fair for that man to presume that he can engage in sex or does he need to ask? Does I he need to ask out fair. loud? I think that it's... I don't think it's fair for him to presume that things are going to proceed in a yeah, certain but what way. Is, but I think but this you, comes down to definition, I mean, without, doesn't it? How does he indicate that he hasn't made the presumption? Does he have to ask to out loud some, every time? You, you, if you start to touch someone in a particular way and they seem to like that, then you carry on. If you do something else and then they say no, or if they pull away, or if you, you, you'll get... I mean, it isn't always spoken, but I think that the sensible thing is to actually ask. Yeah, but surely at the point... Way. But if you don't, surely you can read but surely that at the point bodily cues. At, and... the, at the point they've pulled away, Holly, then and if, if that's an indication that they've said no, then can that woman say that in itself was a sexual assault? If the person 
person stops when they say that they should stop, then no. But if they carry on, then yes. Mike, it, 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 it is the case that women, uh, and indeed men, because let, let's remind, remember here that, that there, there are, are victims of sexual assault from both sexes. And what Harriet Harman, Mike, says is we're not talking about a man making a mistake. It's about sexual assault, she says. Yes, but, it, but again, it goes back to, I mean, you know, all, all, all these are very fine words, Stephen, but, but when you actually put them in the form of a scenario, as you just did, then, you know, um, Holly struggled to answer because, you know, the real world... I don't world... think I struggled to answer at all. I think I gave a clear answer that if, you know, if, if that person then stops when the person says they should stop or they pull away or they're getting an indication that they've not got consent, whether that's verbal or not, then they should stop. And if they don't, that's a sexual assault. Yeah. If they carry on with certain acts, that's great. But if they... Is there any chance I might have a they, word? If they do... Sorry, continue. Thank you. Um, it's known, um, I mean, we have seven pages in our election manifesto about sexual abuse committed by women, and it's known from surveys that around 25% of sexual offences um, against the opposite set, sex are committed by, by, by women. Um, and, and yet, the, you know, you'll never hear Alison Saunders uh, talking about the sexual assault of men by women. Um, and you've got to say, why is that? It's because she has no interest in it. Um, well, she would the, deny the, that. The, I mean, false, ra false rape allegations are very common, um, but it's known from a report back in 2012 by, um, by Alison Levitt, which she prepared for the CPS, um, that of, a of uh, 121 cases of suspected false rape allegations brought by the police to the CPS for charging decisions over a 16-month period, the CPS pressed charges in only 35 cases. That was 25 for perverting the court of justice, perverting the course of justice, and 10 for wasting police time. And even when women are found guilty of, of this, they're, they're usually only given suspended sentences. Men's lives are ruined, and the women face no consequences. Final word to you, Holly. I, all, all I can say is that the amount of people I know who've been raped and didn't report it, the amount of people who... It, 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 I, I just don't see that it's in a woman's interest in any way whatsoever. That's not to say that false allegations don't happen. Of course they do. But I think that it's just it's not in a, in, in a woman's interest to do that. If, if she does, then there is actually something... I, it, it, she's very misguided, I think, because I think everything is stacked against her. I mean, fine, you say a man's life is ruined, but I think—I mean, look at the, the case with Chad Evans. I mean, that girl's life is ruined, and he was actually prosecuted. She's she's had to go undercover. She's had to change her name. You know, uh, that's ruined her life, and there was actually a prosecution. You know, okay. she's being treated like she's in the wrong. We're going to we're going to leave it there, Holly and Mike. Thank you very much. You want to pick up the phone tonight? Oh five hundred nine zero nine six nine three.